individuals, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another convention hall, as in convention, <laughs> convention H-A-U-L, stuff I got from a con, spelling with Dan. Yes, yesterday was Preston Comic Con, it was an awesome day, the vlog's gonna be, if you haven't checked it out, go and check that out, and uh, this is just one of the typical videos where I go to a convention, buy some shit, show you guys what I got. Wedding! Oh yes, definitely let us know in the comments below your favourite thing that I purchased yesterday at my day at Preston Comic Con. If you were there, I hope you had a great time. Uh, and if you have watched the vlog and shit, I hope you enjoyed watching the vlog. And if uh, you like Venom, hopefully you're excited for the film. And yeah, if you do like this, just will boom me, will boom me. But then shut up and let's just jump straight into it like Philip DeFranco. Let's, yeah. First things first, something I didn't buy. Coffee is at the ready. Right, first thing that I've, uh, I, had, I didn't buy, but I've been bragging on like the Instagram stuff. It's my Visual Guys flask. How amazing is that? There's the logo of me, the Visual Guys in a flask. Uh, I drink a lot of coffee and it was made by my good friend Katrina, Bespoke Glass Slipper. Now, please, please go give her any support on any of this stuff because she is crazy fucking talented. Like everything she does, she makes shoes, glasses, all this kind of stuff. She makes by herself by hand, uh, she's more talented at this shit than I could ever be at anything, she's fantastic, so thank you for my flask, she also did the t-shirts, the visual guy t-shirts, please go check her out, she's awesome, she's amazing, she's my friend, this shit is too sick, right, this next thing I'm just going to whiz through, it's this massive bunch of Pokemon cards, now these, right, I'm going to do an unboxing of these, along with these two packets, right, because I bought these, they were 50p each, and after buying them, like, I don't think there's going to be anything good in there, but I, I don't know. Maybe it, th there's a chance of being something good. So I bought these two to go along with it for when I do the unboxing. At least there's something we can try and unbox together. But there's 10, I think, of them to unbox. I just said to the guy I want to spend this amount. So there's that to come after this video. You're going to get loads of videos today. My Tachella pendant. I, I bought that because it looks cool as fuck. I actually fell asleep in it last night. I forgot to take it off. It's just Tachella's chain. Obviously, the, the armor and stuff comes through. I seen it for. I need that. Nice and brief. Sticking with the jewelry side of things, it's these Rick and Morty earrings. Like, how epic are them? They are so sick. And also, if I if I do that, I could buy my mum something for Christmas and stick it in this already ready-made box. Winning for Christmas. But yeah, they look absolutely sick. Funko Pops now, and I got two of them. I got your boy, Seto Kaiba, and Yami Yugi. They, like the Yu-Gi-Oh ones have only just come out there. I think there's four at the minute you can get. Blue Eyes and Dark Magician were there, but I thought, am I going to get two? These boys are fucking awesome. I can't tell as well. There's a big circle at the bottom of Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know if there's a base plate in that or not. I thought it's just a packaging. But, wowsies. The fucking reflection's a bit shit there. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Who are you? Team Seto Kaiba or Team Yami Yugi? Comic book time. I got four of them. I'll show you the covers, like each cover. As Yeah, I'll show you one at a time. That's what I wanted to say. Fuck's sake. Captain America along against the all new Jack O'Lantern. I just wanted some old comic books to get in frames to put around the house and stuff because you know that I love that shit. A lovely, uncanny X Men comic book that right there with Bishop and Rogue. A green arrow with a lovely uh, silver shining that you can't really see it there. I seen that, I thought, yes, that will look beautiful in a frame. But my favourite of the whole lot is this swamp thing because he is quite clearly just overgrowing all of Arkham. You've got the Joker in there and everything. Oh, just the swamp thing on top of Arkham. That looks fucking legit. Now it's time for the Visual Guy, Visual Guy, Visual Guys, uh, um, sponsored um, sip of coffee. Brought to you by Asda's own coffee. <laughs> Uh, this, I hope, is in good condition because I haven't opened it yet. A Kyrum uh, Bandai construction kit. Obviously, you get a few of them. I've got like a Charizard and a ho -Oh and I love these things that downstairs. I love these things. I said it was only a tenner. I was like, I'll have that. It's like 30 odd quid or something online. So you put the stickers on and stuff and you get to think, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll open it. I'll make sure everything's all right. See, if you're doing purchases like this, where the hell is there more? Is there more tape? Right, everything looks to be. Spot on. We got set one there, set there, instructions which are in Japanese, but it's okay because I follow the pictures because I can't read Japanese. I think we're all good. We got the stickers and that. That should look pretty cool. A lovely DC Essentials Batgirl figure with um big eye boobs. I'm weird. Whenever I mention girl figures, I go straight to the boobs. I don't know why. Uh, she got like a grapple claw, grapple hook there. Uh, I've got a few of these ticked off on the box uh, back already, so that's cool. But yeah, a nice little Batgirl figure that was like, you 14 quid? Was it 14? 14 or 15. 15 makes more sense. No, it was 14. I know it was. 
this random Raphael. It's a Geeky Tiki's Raphael. I don't know what this is, um, so we'll unbox it together now. It's a Loot Crate exclusive thing. Oh, it quite literally is just a, just a Tiki. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. I only bought it for four quid. I thought, oh, well, I'll have that. Yeah, it's just a little Tiki. I don't know what you'd put in there. I just stand up somewhere nicely. Oh, that looked quite cool in the backdrop. I'll try and squeeze it in the backdrop somewhere. And it was Raphael, who's my favourite TMNT member, so cool. Next one isn't anything huge special, but obviously, whenever the visual guys go to a convention, it's our tradition to buy a mug, which my mum cannot stand because I've bought so many mugs. It's just a Green Lantern mug. I haven't got a Green Lantern mug. I've got Green Lantern on a mug with Justice League members, but I haven't got the Green Lantern on his own. Well, the symbols. <laughs> it could represent the whole Green Lantern core. Yeah, a mug. Uh, these next two, right, just because the film was crap and the portrayal of Harley Quinn was fairly awful, doesn't mean I don't hate the characters. Two Suicide Squad, I'm pretty sure they're keychains, but I'm going to keep them in the box because I like that. A Harley and Joker. Mr. J. Fuck it, that was cringe. Uh, little thingies. They look quite cool like that, so I'll just stand them in the backdrop somewhere. They're like in a, a box you'd get playing cards in. Mr. J and Harley from Suicide Squad. Plushies now, which we'll do at the same time. Uh, they're in bags. Fuck, we'll take out the bags. We got ourselves... I hope that rustling wasn't pure loud. We got a Mew. That's dead. We got a Mew. That will stay dead. And also we got a... Oh shit, I have to whip this out open. This definitely won't stand up. Uh, if you've seen my Instagram pictures, I met this guy for real. The outfit was sick. Hey, Pickle Rick. Mew and Pickle Rick together in the same video. You won't often see that. That could be a first here on YouTube. Um, yeah, if you've seen the, the vlog and stuff, and if you've seen the Instagram photos, the guy dressed up as Pickle Rick yesterday, if he made that, uh, no, he did, he, he, I actually asked him, he did make it, it's probably the best cosplay I've ever personally seen face-to-face, -face. it was fucking phenomenal, but yeah, Pickle Rick and Mew plushies, one of my favourite buys, uh, and it's this, just a little Spider-Man figure, you got the cho choice to stick his head in there with a bit of pizza. It's, I think it's designed to look kind of old, but it's not. It's a newish figure. But I seen it, it was laying there for 20 quid. There was Iron Man, uh, Cap or Spidey, and obviously Spidey's my main man. I went for Spider-Man. I just think that looks sick. And plus it's nice and thin, so I'm hopefully going to be able to just stick it up on the wall somewhere. Next up is this like chibi type 4 figure from... F well, from 4. <laughs> this 4 figure from 4 Ragnarok. But again, this was, I think this was quite cheap, like eight quid or so, um, is where I got the Harley and Joker things, uh, there's a whole bunch to collect, um, but it's, it's a Japanese product, so it's like a, um, I, I'm sure it's what you call it, chibi. I don't know if I want to get it out of the box, because I really want to know what that is, I don't know if that's a sticker, or if it's just a label or what, uh, it might look cool just stood out, but it, it looks cool in the box, so I don't know visuals, we'll have to see, but yeah, cool, but the last thing is the, the, uh, the mystery box. Now time for another ad break with more as designed coffee. I'm actually going to have to leave the coffee off because we need to get the mystery box out. Ugh, yes, this mystery box. Uh, I'm always sceptical with mystery boxes. I did a Pokemon one at um, Megacon and I clearly got ripped. Or oh, it, it does just slide straight up and right. The guy said, everything in here is worth £40. And I'm like, right, yeah, okay, mate. We'll, 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 we'll wait and see. It's an XL because I'm a fat bastard. <sighs> it's there is something there was a sign that said everything from TV sh it's not on here he had a sign from TV shows and stuff like that so hopefully it's okay let's have a look sees what have we got oh oh okay shit fuck okay wow oh crap fuck we we got a uh, fuck this is this is quite dope we got a uh, Exterminate uh, just a Doctor Who notepad. I'm not a fan of Doctor Who, but I write a lot of notes. Oh, that's wow! Shit, I didn't expect all this to be in here. Right, okay, let's carry on. Um, what is this? Oh, a a Borat T-shirt. I like Borat. I like Sarah Basha Cohen. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually really shocked at what I can see in here. Um, next up, you can see the big thing there, which we'll get to the end. No fucking way. Are you kidding me? Right, one sec. Oh my god. This is a... What, what is this? It's a Loot Crate exclusive. Are they shoelaces? Marvel shoelaces. Oh my... Right, okay. Fuck. Fuck. Visuals. This is so weird. Everybody knows John Cena is my favourite wrestler and just one of my all-time favourite dudes of all time. I don't know if that's his real voice, but oh my god, there's a little John Cena. You want some? Come, get 
the little John Cena fucking figure. You can't see me. No way. Shit. How did how did the guy know I love Cena? Um, a show which I don't like, but um, I'm sure my brother likes. Um, a Toon Star. Wait, is this what I think it is? I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's uh, Breaking Bad. I don't like Breaking Bad. Is that Heisenberg? It very well could be Heisenberg. I'm not a fan of the show. But that's that's still a pretty cool figure. My brother loves the show, so I can maybe give it to him. Um, the Star Wars... Star Wars... Stormtrooper... Oh, it's a mini light. That's cool. I'm terrified of the dark, so I can stick that up somewhere and pretend the dark side's coming to get me. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Everything in here is freaking awesome. Like, even if it's stuff that like, shows I don't really like. Like, Star Wars I like, but I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. Oh my god, wow. That just slides straight out. Sweet. I shouldn't maybe have done that. Fuck. But this right here, visuals. Oh wait, we're not quite finished. We get a fucking Batman pen. Oh, sick. I'm, I'm like the real Batman now. I have a pen. Uh, before we get to this box, I'll tell you the guy that uh, gave me the box because he was he was a nice dude. Uh, the amazing mystery box, uh, two free tea. Receive two extra T-shirts with any prepaid three month subscription. I was like a subscription thing. The amazing mystery box that must be must be everything that it is. It's just called that, and then you get all this kind of shit in it. Wow, well, yeah, cool. Glad I didn't get you. I got John Cena, but um, yes, the the big figure that we've got in here. We got a fucking Alfred Pennyworth. Friggin' diamond select figure from the Gotham TV show. Oh my god! And it comes with a little little fireplace and that behind him. Before the legend. Wow! I didn't expect this to be in there. I mean, people might be like, "Oh, fucking Alfred!" But this figure alone actually will be like twenty to thirty quid. And I love Alfred. Alfred's a cool character. He's portrayed beautifully in Gotham the TV series. Fuck! I don't know why I pressed start now. Right, there we go, visuals. That was what I got from Preston Comic Con. Uh, don't forget, as soon as this video is up, we'll have the Pokemon unboxing thingy. Wow, that mystery box was a hell of a lot of uh, epic shit. That was a surprise. I had genuinely thought I shouldn't have judged so soon. I thought it was going to be quite clap, but wow. So, visuals, hope you did enjoy. Remember, Wubuski, Wubuski, and all that kind of goodness. Just join the Visual Guys army and stuff. Go watch the vlog. Watch any. The news also went up today. It went up late because we had a hectic day yesterday. There'll be a podcast going up today and stuff. Visual, thank you so much for listening. You guys are the fucking best. Keep me and you. Keep on. Oh, keep it on. And never doubt a mystery box again. I'm, I'm one and one. I've had one bad one and one good one. So uh, we'll try and keep, continue the stream. Keep me and you. Keep on. Oh, keep it on. If you've liked what you've seen, guys, if you enjoy watching me, enjoy watching Dan, or even a little glimpse of our little friend Bill that's sitting in the corner, doing whatever he's doing, you can now follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.